Uh, first of all, you should not say Songo didn't pick a deputy after the advisory. He picked Miguna Miguna. But uh, you know that was basically theoretics because he knew that uh, at that point in time, Miguna was not eligible to be picked as a deputy governor because he still had issues of uh, his citizenship and he was out of the country and he's still out of the country. So Songo basically took advantage of the confusion that uh, was prevailing in Miguna's case to try and uh, pick him so that he buys time. He is largely insecure and he has a feeling that uh, if he picks a deputy and he were to be impeached, then the deputy would uh, take over. Running the city is not uh, a very simple matter, just like running the country. So one needs, uh, the framers of the constitution uh, envisaged a situation where the duties would uh, overwhelm one person. So it was uh, decided that uh, it would make sense to have a principal assistant who would be able to deputize you in some in the performance of uh, the duties and the responsibilities that go with the high office. So Nairobi is the largest, uh, is uh, the capital city of this country. It produces 60% of the GDP. So it's very strange that uh, almost a year plus, uh, Songo is running around and behaving like uh, he doesn't need a, a, a deputy, which, which is, I think, uh, a very serious mistake. And uh, given that the advice or opinion given by the Supreme Court said that uh, he's supposed to pick a deputy within 14 days, he has not done that. He did, but uh, with mischief. Uh, there is a likelihood that uh, somebody will go to court and seek uh, the, that uh, Songo should be impeached for having violated uh, the constitution. Uh, for Nairobi, Songo has still been uh, engaging in the shenanigans. And uh, when he was uh, reshuffling his uh, CECs last time, he indicated that he would give the name. Later on, uh, he started creating the usual uh, excuses and he was not able to name a deputy. So it, it creates a lacuna, or supposing he were to be incapacitated. You see, it will create a very big uh, crisis because you have no deputy who is supposed to take over. You have no, no speaker who is uh, in office, li uh, legally and politically. So uh, what will happen? We will be seeing uh, a very serious crisis because the, 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 the purported uh, uh, acting deputy spe uh, speaker will not uh, have the legal mandate to take over. And uh, Elijah having issues with the county assembly, uh, it will be very difficult now for her to come in and uh, take over as an uh, acting governor for 90 days as we await uh, the IEBC to call for uh, by-election. So you, you can see the crisis and the mess in, in which we are. And some of the things that are not being done uh, the way the county is supposed to be run, they are not being done because Songo cannot be able to do most of the things alone. He lives out of town. Uh, so you will need a deputy, maybe. And you know, when they were campaigning with Igade, the understanding was that uh, Songo will largely concentrate on the political issues as Igade does the management bit because uh, Igade was a management guru. But he was frustrated so much that uh, he had to quit. So th th there's still uh, that huge challenge. We will not gain as much as we would have gained if there was a deputy, because 60% uh, of the GDP of this country is produced in Nairobi. So Nairobi is uh, very critical. Not that the other counties are not uh, as important. They are all important, but uh, Nairobi is very critical because one, it is a capital city of this country. Two, it is uh, where we produce 60% of the GDP. And uh, there are more investments in Nairobi than there are in any other county. So you will need, uh, if we had uh, a fully constituted executive, which is fully functional, and a county assembly doing what they're supposed to do, not engaging in wrangles over trips and uh, money, then uh, it means uh, we will be able to increase our productivity. And you see, if the productivity in Nairobi goes up, it means uh, our GDP also grows as a country. You know, Nairobi is also the regional hub. Yeah, the people in the region, uh, in terms of commerce, in terms of industry, in terms of IT, they all look at Nairobi. So uh, it's very critical. So that, that determines so many other issues in, in, in the region and in the country. An activist has moved to court, and uh, they are citing uh, those issues. 
and they want Songo removed from office uh, on the basis uh, of violation of the constitution. But be before moving to court, I think it would have also been uh, prudent to try and engage with the Senate so that uh, the Senate can uh, put sanctions on Songo to be able to pick uh, a deputy so that uh, the executive of uh, the city is complete. If you are having uh, a county assembly which is prone to wrangles, you have an incomplete executive. And you know Songo has been firing his MCCs, left, right and center. He gives them one year contract. And uh, there have been serious challenges in terms of uh, uh, service delivery from the CECs and uh, issues of insecurity. So if you have a fairly dysfunctional executive, then you have a rango prone uh, assembly. Then uh, it means that uh, you will not be achieve, you will not be able to achieve much, to achieve much because the, the government has three arms, but in the counties, you know, there are two. We have uh, the legislative arm and the executive. The judiciary is not uh, devolved in the counties. So if the two arms of government in the counties are not working, naturally uh, we will not enjoy the benefits of uh, devolution in the city.